Hello my friends and uh, welcome to the unit converter application. We're gonna create an application that converts the kilos that entered by the user to pounds. So the user enters a value and the number uh, that represents the kilos. When the user click on convert now button, it will display for the user the result in pounds so you want to be a professional android app developer but you don't know where you should start what things you should learn you came to the right place welcome to our top bestseller android app development course a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of android app development And every one kilo is 2.2 pounds. So what are the steps that we will follow? With step number one is layout design, creating the layout of this app using the layout editor in Android Studio. The second step is declaring views, which declaring the widgets and the views created in the XML and initializing them. Step number three, adding functionalities, creating functions, handling click events, getting users input, and so on. And in this case is the conversion of the, making the conversion between kilos and pounds. And the step number four is running and testing the application and correcting the errors and handle the possible uh, errors that would encounter. So let's start building our application and jump into Android Studio. Open Android Studio and click on new project, select empty activity, and here we'll name it as unit converter. The package is com.mastercoding.unitconverter. You can name it as whatever you want. The save location also does whatever you want. Language is Kotlin, API is 21. Click on finish and wait for Android Studio to finish loading and the build uh, and the Gradle to finish its building progress. And here we go. Our project is ready. Let's start with the first step. This is the layout. I will remove this text view. I will go to the split mode, into split mode. And here we go. This is the constraint layout. Don't miss to add this line of code if it is missing, okay? Now, this is the ending block uh, and the ending tag of the constraint layer. Now let's change the background of this Android background. This, uh, this layout, I will drag and drop this wallpaper or copy it into my drawable folder go to the project resources folder drawable and click on paste click on okay it's named as wallpaper always use small letters when naming the resources okay the background i will specify it as drawable and select the wallpaper and this is our application wallpaper this is the background of our application wallpaper okay it's pretty good now i will create here and edit text for the user to enter the uh, the kilos values match parent for the width the wrap content as height id would be kilo edit text and I will use a hint telling the user please enter a enter the kilos okay this is good I will infer the constraints click on infer constraints and drag it down okay now I will use another widget and view called button. 
this is a button, wrap content, wrap content. The text of this button is convert now. The ID is btn and I will drag it and drop it below the edit text. Okay, I will click on infer constraints and here the constraints are added successfully. Or you can write these constraints attributes directly. Okay, I prefer using the constraints and deal with constraints visually by using the infer constraints and drag and dropping the widgets position. Now I need the result text. For that, I will use a text view, wrap content, wrap content, and I will add the ID result text. And here. in the previous step, We've created our layout. Now let's initialize and declare these widgets. We've created three widgets, button, edit text, and text view. Now let's start declaring them. Val, edit text, it's of type edit text, equal find view by ID, r.id.edit text val btn it's an instance of a button equal to find a view by id alt plus enter to import the package here so i'm importing android.widget button and android.edit text r.id dot button and val result text equal or it's of type text view find view by id r dot id dot result text okay this is how we declare the widgets and don't miss to import these packages and the classes the package widget and the class button edit text and text view from Android package, okay? This is how we declare the widgets. The third step is adding the functionality. So we're going to make the conversion between the enter text, which is in kilos and displaying the result text, which is in pounds. So I will add the btn.setOnClickListener. This will call a function that it's called fun make conversion make or convert con convert to pounds okay it will took an int as a, i will make it as doubles so it will convert to pounds the entered kilos okay so kilos it's of type double it's of type double okay and it will return oops it's of type double and it will return a double okay so it will uh, will multiply the kilos by 2.2 so you can search for Google uh, on Google how to convert uh, kilos to pounds. It will give you this ratio. One kilogram is equal to 0.2 uh, kilos, uh, sorry, pounds. Okay, so we will return, or I will make it as a double, a var pounds equal to kilos times 2.2 okay now i will return pounds it's very simple okay now the button when i click it i will get the edit text from the edit text val um, kilos equal to edit text dot 
text, but I need to, to change this text to double. So double dot parse, or I can make it like this, keep it like this, and I will show you later on what is the error. Then the result text dot set text to, I will call the function convert, always like it do, it do like this, convert to pounds, and I will pass the kilos that it's get it from the edit text. Change the parameters to function to convert editable or create this. Convert to pounds, this is a double. It should be a double, okay? So I would change it like this. In order to transform this string, this edit text dot text, the returning input, which is a string, to a double, it's simple to use to string and then dot to double. So I'm transforming this text to a string and then I'm using to double method in order to transform this whole edit text input into a double. Now it's simple and it's obvious that we can pass the kilos, which is a double, into the parameter of the convert to pounds function and we can make the conversion. Now let's run the application and see it. So you wanna be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. Hello my friends and welcome to step number four. After we click on run application, it will give us this screen. So here, please enter the kilos. By the way, this screen is from my computer because it's uh, running um, multi-threading things, so don't worry. I need to enter 10 kilos. If I click on convert now, it will give me this 22.0462, which is the exact conversion of 10 kilos into pounds. Okay, so again, if I enter uh, 15, convert now, it will give me this run up. And amazing guys, this is what we need. This is exactly what we need. I need to add also here um, uh, pounds on a new line. So I will use this skipping character, pounds. Now let me run the application again. If I put here 10, If I click on convert now, it will give me this. But there is an error that the layout, the text view is under the convert now button. How to solve it? We go to the main activity. We see that our error is in the layout. It's displaying under this. So when the size of, the, of this text view increased in a way that it uh, it exceeds its number, its uh, size number, it will go up because I have added this constraint to the bottom. The solution is to click on control and the red, uh, the red delete uh, like notification and this X and red uh, circle will be appearing here, will appears here or will appear. Now we drag it up and then we remove like about and move it about 36. Now let me run and see. When using testing and uh, the, the uh, f testing phase and running application phase, you need to pay attention for all the, uh, the errors they may encounter. And here we go. This is the good layout because it will display everything in its place and 
with no overlays like before. Okay, this is how we uh, improve our UI, how to improve the layouts. Okay, so congratulations, guys. We have created our uh, unit conversion application and it's in best practice to start solving applications and the application algorithms and the problems. Okay.